Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to be talking about Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves is the second game in the Nathan Drake story, and it has the unenviable burden of avoiding the dreaded sequel syndrome. Thankfully, the masterful writing avoids this easily. Here, the world of Nathan Drake expands as the game sheds even more light on our hero's past. Who is this woman, Chloe? Why is she so important to Drake? Curiosity pulls the player along new paths and suddenly we are greeted with a much improved game engine drawing us into the action. Fair warning gamers, time will fly by while you are Nathan Drake. The more adult-oriented dialogue and treachery lends to a maturing of the story. Nathan is no longer a simple adventurer on the run from pirates and thieves. He now has a true adversary that is closer to his level and provides competition. And what his opponent lacks in brains, he makes up for with manpower. Uncharted 2 is a true struggle for survival. Can I beat this enemy? Can I escape this danger in time? Do I have enough ammo? All of these questions you will find yourself asking as you play. Eventually, you'll discover your answers. You must beat this enemy. That you have to escape the danger, and that you have to make every bullet count. The story is a clever woven tapestry full of twists, turns, betrayal, and intrigue. But I'm not here to rob you of that experience. It's definitely one that you should play by yourself. Now let's get to the scoring. Well, here we are. Now we just gotta find so right again, like every other game in the world, it starts with a score of three because, well, it exists, and I thought enough to purchase it and play it. There it is. Uh, this game is both physical and digital, so it earns a point there. Uh, the immersion is very good, so it earns two points. The voice actors in English are really nice. I'm definitely enjoying that, so it gets a point there. The game length is about what I would expect, and it gets two points. The story is really good, um, but not something that blew me out of my seat, so it gets two points. The level design is two points. The complete experience. Yeah, this game was definitely a complete experience. I did not feel like I was needing anything additional to what I was uh, experiencing in this game whatsoever. So it gains uh, three points. Sense of progression. Uh, this game doesn't really have too much of a sense of progression. Um, but, I mean, you know, it's... Uh, there, there's nothing to level up or anything like that, so it only gets one point. Uh, fairness punishing RNG. I felt like the game became a little unfair at points, so it loses a point here. Technical difficulties. Um, shooting things instead of, you know, trying to punch or pry or punch. Yeah, it loses a point there. I, I, I found some technical difficulties when... Uh, when I would be shooting things instead of, like, what was, there's this one section where, um, instead of prying or punching something, I had to shoot something to get through the area, and it was, it was really frustrating to try to figure out what, what need I needed to do to get through that one area with almost little to no hints. Um, Game value to MSRP cost. Uh, I think this game was like forty nine ninety nine when it first came out, or something like that. Uh, not, not as much value as I would really expect. Um, so it gets one point. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Soundtrack, two points, definitely. Visuals, two points. Uh, difficulty, one point. Um, sometimes the difficulty spiked a little bit. Gameplay slash combat, two points. It's good. It's combining uh, you know, hand to hand and gunplay, um, but the hand to hand is not very polished. 
so that's why it only gets two points. Uh, controls, two points. It works, works out fairly well, but I think some improvements could be made. Camera, one point. I found myself fighting the camera a little bit in this game. Um, not too much, but uh, definitely enough to knock it out of the two-point genre. Unlockable slash rewards, one point. Oh, well, you know, there are some rewards there. Uh, sense of accomplishment. Um, it got two points here. Uh, I definitely felt like uh, I had gained skills as a player during this. And, you know, it, it was a great experience. I do suggest uh, that you do play this game. Um, so now that brings us to a total of 29 points. Uh, that might seem a little bit low, but honestly, this is being graded as a PlayStation 3 game and not a PlayStation 4 game. So uh, that's a little bit below average, but Uncharted 2 was kind of an earlier uh, title. So um, that's it, guys. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.